Hi everybody, it's Mrs Dowling here and I'm just going to speak to you quickly about the option choices for art and design, graphics and photography. One thing that's similar with all of them is as they are all covered by the EDUCAS exam board and they all have four main assessment objectives. However, each course is individual in its own right. And just to put things into perspective a little bit, currently the creative industries are growing at such a vast pace and employers look to people who have got a creative background simply because they can work independently and importantly, they'll try new things. And that is one area specifically that sets us apart from everywhere else. Right, so why would you choose one of our option choices? Well, importantly, as you would already know with regards to our subjects, yes, I know you've only studied art previously, but that's why we give you the opportunity to develop in a slightly different process. So in art at GCSE level, you'll have a lot more time within school. So you don't just have art once a week, you'll have it possibly three times, five lessons over the two weeks, okay? And again, importantly, you will get the opportunity to develop the project how you would like to. So when you first come into the course, we'll look at an introduction. So that will be the same for art, graphics and photography. We'll introduce you to the course, We'll let you experiment with different media. You'll explore lots of different avenues in terms of different media techniques. And then from that, you'll be given the opportunity to develop a project theme in a personal way. These are the four assessment objectives. And as I've said, they cover all, four, all three of the option choices. So contextual understanding. So we'll look at other artists, graphic designers, photographers, illustrators, and they support the learning and the development of your project. AO2, creative making, that's where you explore and experiment, experiment and try lots of new things with the different media. AO3, reflective recording, that's where we can focus on drawings from observation. Uh, also, what is very important is annotating and explaining our ideas because that is also one area specifically that gives an insight as to how your project is developing. Then down to AO4, which is what we call personal presentation. So you producing a final outcome that is fully supported by all the other assessment objectives. The coursework that you start in year 10 is actually worth 60% of your final marks. And then in year 11, in the January of your year 11, you will actually begin the exam paper. And that is worth 40% of your marks. So in terms of art and design, you'll develop a portfolio of work. Uh, you'll work in sketchbooks and in sheets that will go into your portfolio. And as I've said, it'll show all the development stages of your artistic process. Homework for all of courses are as important as what you do in class because it's all part of your GCSE coursework. Here we've got some examples of some of the GCSE art and design coursework on display. And as you can see, we use quite a lot of different media. So yes, we have the observational drawing. We can look at normal pencil work, drawing with pen, mark making techniques, but then we extend it further. So you've got working on canvas, we've got print making, it making techniques. We also include photography as part of your research and development. Then we've also got some examples of silk painting, batik painting in gouache, and also painting in acrylics and watercolours. So within the art and design course, there's lots of avenues to go through. But importantly, it's allowing you that creativity to develop the project how you want to. And in a similar way, with regards to graphics, there's the similar process of developing everything in a personal way. Again, you'll be introduced to different techniques, but you'll also look at different um, ICT examples and understanding some of the software that can help you develop your design work. Here, 
we've got some more examples of how you can develop your coursework. So you will do one project based on performance. So that will give you again the idea of you select a different element of performance, something that's personal and of interest of yourself. And develop poster work in relation to that. So as you can see on the left, we've got posters relating to sports techniques and football. On the right, we've got the second project, which is related to Tutti Frutti. And again, you can see how the student has come up with a design for the actual shop front, merchandise, T-shirts, flyers, posters, basically everything that can relate directly to the graphic outcome and the development of branding and how you will promote that. Photography is the last one on our list. And again, it gives you the opportunity for that independence and explore the project how you want to. You'll be able to set up your own photo shoots, do a bit more experimentation and manipulation with the photographs. And here we've got examples of some beautiful sketchbook work showing how important it is to annotate and explain all of your ideas and importantly, the techniques that you've used and how you understand the using of the camera okay so some people and i'm just going to say it as it is some people think our courses are there for an easy option and i'm here to tell you that quite frankly no they're not because you have to put the effort in and as you know producing a good piece of artwork or graphic or photography work takes time and that's the main area for us is you've got to be prepared to show your patience and your resilience and it'll work through to an effective result but you've got to be prepared to work hard both in class and at home so in terms of careers what type of careers do you think we could move on to we have numerous students going off onto college and university doing art graphics and photography courses We've had numerous students going off doing um, specifically then photography, going off doing the role, being a professional photographer, working uh, as a self-employed photographer. But we also have numerous students who have gone off to do architecture. We also have students who have gone into teaching, yes, primary and secondary. But there's also a number of students who also often do uh, theatre and production design, as well as uh, creative makeup, theatrical makeup, but also students who have done any one of our courses, as it's actually the creative side, they go off and do other things, including um, hairdressing and makeup. So we do have a vast variety of options that it goes and takes you into. So if you would like to speak to any of us with regards to subjects and options, please, please get in touch. You know we are approachable and you'll know where to find us. Alternatively, you can just email any one of us and we will get back to you. So as I've said, I will look forward to hearing from some of you. I know I've spoke to people in, in um, over the live lessons. So please get in touch if there's anything you want to ask. Thank you.